Hey, it's Amy Green with Amy and Art Designs, and we are going to make an interchangeable sign tonight. Super excited about it. Do you see that big old black signpost back there? We're going to hang it on there. We're going to do part one tonight um, because we're going to make the base sign tonight, and then we'll make the attachments or one of the interchangeable doohickey things tomorrow. So come on in, say hi, let me know where you're watching from. Um, and if you're watching on the replay, make sure you drop hashtag replay. Like if you're here right now, you're probably watching on the replay. So um, drop hashtag replay if you are on the replay, but come in and say hi. Let me know how your Saturday's been. Hey, Lisa Ann. Um, thank you for the thumbs up. Love that. Love that. I actually put on some makeup. Um, it is a beautiful, beautiful Saturday here in Ohio. And the, um, we had a family game night. We went and played outside. We had taco bowls for dinner. Um, and then we did a little weed pull in and we came back in and finished up Rummy Cube. So I'm a little later than I thought I'd be, but summer's hard because the kids are home and then you want to be able to spend that extra time with them. So say hi and come on in and we're going to talk about what we're going to make. Tell me how your Saturday was. I see, um, I want to say hi to everybody. I see Lisa Ann's here. Glad you're here, my friend. Sarah's here. Hey, Sarah. Norma. Hey, Norma. If you're new here, you guys, let me know you're new so we can give you a warm welcome. Hey, Janet. Good to see you. So, um, how many of you, hey, oh, there's Miss Brenda. Hey, Brenda. So, yeah, how many of you guys have an interchangeable sign at home? Um, I have the gnomes. I've got more parts for the gnomes. Oh, Hi, Miss Lydia. It's a, okay, but we chatted. Um, didn't we chat on Messenger, Lydia? I think we did a little bit. Um, I'm pretty sure that was you. So glad you're here. Hey, Sonia. Hey, hey. Oh, we have Brenda from, she's new, from Colorado. What's the weather like out there? It's Colorado's beautiful. Okay, we did chat. Good, good, good. I'm glad. I'm glad you're here, Lydia. You can learn some, learn a little bit. We're going to do a little painting and a little distressing. Um, Cindy said she went to some new antique, new to you antique shops. Girl, that's what we got on the calendar for next weekend. I love to antique. Did you find anything good? Linda, hey, she's new. Hi, Linda. Oh, Lydia's here. She's excited. She's wanting to learn some more crafting techniques. I'm glad she's here. So I'd love to teach. Sarah, she's new at this too. Okay. And Brenda, you said it's hot around 95. My husband and I were just talking about that. We were actually going to go to the pool with the kids this afternoon. Um, hey, Joe, if you're watching, get speedy. Um, and my husband, that's our dog. <laughs> so um, we were talking about how nice it is because in Ohio, like, okay, it wasn't warm enough to go swimming today, honestly, but um, it, it was nice enough to be outside a lot. So it's really nice. And Cindy bought some crutches. Ooh, I want to see those. I want to see those. So I do have, let me show you. I have the interchangeable gnomes. And the the, the thing where the gnomes, okay. If you own my gnomes, I'm going to send you the updated pieces for free as soon as I get them cut. I ran, two things happen. The lady who makes these, the cut files for these, only releases them at certain times. And so she, you can't like do all of them at once. And so it's a process. But like these little gnomes, see how cute these are? This is um, at Valentine's and this is like a everyday farmhouse. The hats come off and then the little hands come off. So everyone who's bought them up until now, I'm going to send you the new pieces. I know I said that before. I didn't have the right wood either. You have to use different wood for the, the pieces here. So, so this is an, one interchangeable. I have to redo the listing on these two because it's not it's not user friendly. But this is an interchangeable, and this one does with Velcro, okay? But let me show you this other one. And this one has like Fourth of July. It has um, there's like Fourth of July, summer, Easter, a lot of them. So I just have to cut those and send those out. There's a handful of people who have them, but this one we're gonna make is um. It actually is going to hang on, on this black signpost. Like I said, we're going to do part one tonight, and then we'll do the other parts later. Let's see who else. Um, <laughs> I 
You better buy him than finishing him. Girl, get your stuff out and paint with me. Get your stuff out and paint with me. I know what you mean, though. We are all, all crafters are better at buying than finishing. Um, yes, welcome to the new one. To who's new? We have a several people who are new. Juanita, you're so sweet. Um, she's always saying about everyone. Oh, you got some awesome deals at the HO. They had some really great stuff on like clearance, spring clearance. Um, I got some really great stuff. Hi, Dana. Oh, Dana, thank you for the sprinkles. I love it. I love it. Thank you. We'll get names going here too. Hey, Tammy. Yes, we love having new people. So we're going to make this in a round interchangeable sign. And the reason I love this um, is because there's so many different things you can do with it. And you can use the same thing and then just change the inserts. So I'm going to show it to you. We're going to go with really neutral colors on this because you want to be able to switch out the other parts. So kind of like with the gnomes, I wanted their clothes to be neutral and then I wanted to switch their clothes out. Oh, thank you for the sprinkles, Janet. Okay, let me turn my second camera on and we are going to get going. Sprinkles means... Here we go. Let's try. We're going to try this. And then let's try this. Okay. There we go. Let me put some names down. If Nate was here, he would put everyone's name down. He said, like, Mom, you didn't get the name. You didn't get the name. So let me show you. This is a 12-inch round. And I cut it in two pieces. So it's going to go like this. This is going to be the back and it's going to be like, it's going to hold it together. And then we're going to flip it over. So pretend that it's glued together and flipped over. We're going to paint it before we glue it off. It's just going to make it simpler. And then this is the bottom. This little crosshatch thing. And then this is like a little holder, right? Just kind of goes there to hold your little interchangeable pieces because there's like a little interchangeable piece that's going to go here. And then there's a little interchangeable piece that's going to go here. And then this just goes across. Like this little piece here is optional. You don't have to have it to use it, but it just holds them in place better if you if you feel like you need it. I don't know how I feel about that piece. We'll figure that out when we get there. But I'm thinking I also want to make the bow, bow like removable because that way, so this goes here and then your pieces just slide in. I just don't know if I like that piece that sticks up on the side. I don't think I like how that looks. Um, and then this goes here and you paint that let's see here oh you know what this goes like this that's what you do this goes here and then this goes here yeah figure this out and then your little pieces sit back behind there is how it goes so let's go ahead and get started yeah um This, so, and then it's going to hang on that black signpost back there that I was showing you. We'll get there in a minute. We're just going to do part one tonight, and then we'll do part two another night. Um, and then you can change out the, the other pieces, and what you end up with is something that you can use all year round, right? And you don't have to worry about, now, so the only problem with this, the 12 inch is that it's hard to see the whole thing. But that's okay. It's really cute. It's really cute. And so I really just want to go with the, the um, I'm going to use this as a paint. I'm going to use some black. I might even use my black paint marker. And I'm going to use um, some white acrylic paint. And, um, and then I'll seal it. I don't know if I'll seal it tonight. But I'll seal it. This does not need to be painted unless you feel strongly about paint in the back. Okay. This is not in my shop yet. Um, 
it's at my shop because because I haven't made it yet. <laughs> It will be signed. Yeah, it will. But you'll learn about me. Like I, I, if I was a smart woman, I would like have it ready to buy when I did the live. But I'm a mom, and if I did not have small children, but I'm a mom of three kids with special needs, and one has special needs, and we had an hour of meltdown today. Like that was a lot of the wrench in the day. Nate just had a really hard time this afternoon. So, um. So sometimes like things just kind of happen. The, and so what I do a lot of times is I go ahead and um, I make it and then I'll text you when it's up. This would also make a really great gift, I think, like if you're thinking ahead for Christmas and the holidays, because it's something you would give someone who likes this kind of stuff. And then you could um, give them the attachments, right, throughout the year. Um, or you could just gift them the finished attachments so they could change out because it's like ready-made decor, right? So um, it's, it is, it's really cute. It's going to be super cute. But I think... Just because you can, hey Penny, hey Kim, um, just because you can, um, okay, let's get painting. Just because you can change out the little attachments and there's like a farmhouse, like, like, like cows. Um, I've got like 4th of July. I've got Christmas. I've got a whole bunch of different ones and I think it would be really fun if you just change out the bow every time too, right? So... Let's get started. I'm just putting the paint right on here, y'all. So tell me. Yes, this will fit on the large sign holder. Um, Juanita, this will fit on the large sign holder. Hey, Patty C. And um, it will. And that is the whole beauty of it is it can go on your mantle it can go like in a decorative tray like a flat tray it can go on your coffee bar it can go on a buffet it can go next to a tiered tray right like it's got a, there's a lot of options with it it does not go on the small one so the small one i did a chris k asked me for rounds like um like five inch rounds a while ago. And I finally have them. I'll have them in packs of five and it's $10 for five. And so um, I'll have packs of those rounds there and they're really nice lightweight. So you don't have to worry about them being too heavy for that small sign. So I have those, the kids actually package those up for me. So this is just white acrylic paint. This is actually multi-surface. I didn't realize it was multi-surface when I bought it, which doesn't matter. It's just going to have a little different finish than, than the matte, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to put a satin varnish on this or a satin um, this. And I'm not worried about this being a perfect coverage on here, y'all, because I'm just going to distress it. Um. Well, and this, this way, too, if I put, like, rounds in the box or... I've been working on some fun printables. Some of you guys have asked for printables. Um, maybe for like Dollar Tree signs, stuff like that. And so I've been working on some fun printables. So I'm not ready yet. But then that way we can um, use those for the printables too. And it just makes an easy interchange, like an easy way to switch out that sign, right? Just something that coordinates with a little something extra that coordinates with a tear tray you have. Um, so yeah, black, white, and stained. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do on this one. I think that's what you mean. Hey, Miss Tammy. I do, hold on. 
Oh, wait. Okay, I do have um, names for the um, last month's jar. I'll post it, but I'm going to say it now. I have Denise V gets a gumball machine. Tammy S gets a gumball machine. And Jimmy K gets a flag and a phone loop. So those were the June end of the month drawing people. So I know I owe Deanna happy mail. Let's see who else. Deanna, Gail, Chris, Kim. I have a, Kim is it Kim um not Kim Carol, the other Kim. Oh, I can't think of her last name. And um, I've got a bunch of happy meal to package up and send out. It'll probably go out Monday. So congratulations, ladies. Yay, yay. So yeah, I've got more gumball machines for this month. I went back and bought everything they had. So I've got more gumballs for this month. And I'll send you all some gumball machine filler too in there. Okay. I just did my nails and yay. Yep. And I'll do a post too. I just didn't get the post done today. We had the yeah, poor Nate with the detour. He just, so they came and put, um, I need to give you guys a pool update. I'll show it to you. So they came and put the um, rebar in and like the electrical grounds and the auto cover track. And so the rebar obviously is like steel that's like steel steel bars and it sticks in the side of the pool like not the side of the actual pool but like the form and then it kind of goes out and um and it's super super sharp because and and then they did a bunch of metal cutting out there and of course like they can it's not like they went around and like clean up every little single little metal metal filament that they so it's just not safe for the kids to be in the pool right now until we get the, the concrete poured. And Nate, that was his meltdown today. He just could not accept that he could not get in the pool. So the whole day is like, oh, look at you guys celebrating everybody. So good. And Andrea, are you new to us, my friend? Hold on, I'm, I'm trying to clean paint off my mouse pad. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, my gosh. I was trying to end the broadcast. I got, I got paint on my mouse pad. It's not good. Okay. So, and this should be a relatively quick paint. So this again is the backing. We're not going to paint this. I want this to be black and this to be black. Oh, what am I going to do? I think I'm going to use this. My trash can's gone. So the kids, um, when we were down here working on our um, my boxes, the kids were down here, obviously, with us. And they... Everything's out of place. So Andrea says she's watched a couple times. Yeah, it's... Um, Thank you for that. Sorry, I'm trying to think of what I'm going to do here. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad you've watched. I love when I get YouTube friends. Oh, hey, Sheila. Oh, Juanita says her car is out of commission, girl. Okay, my black paint. So I'm going to use um, this for the paint. The black paint because I want it to be weathered looking. I don't want it to be. Make sure I'm painting the right side. I am. Okay. So. I don't want it super dark and perfect. I want it weathered looking. So yeah, Nate, he just had a rough day. Mid-August for a part on your car, Juanita? Girl. Ugh. They've got to get this whole supply chain thing fixed. It is too slow. Ugh. 
that is just a lot of waiting. So, so yeah, this is a quick one. I know I would be losing my mind. I would be losing my mind. Okay. Yeah, this is, I love this. This sign is so classic too. You know, I mean, it's just, it's, when you see it all put together, you'll see like, it's just a sign that my scissors are gone. Everything's gone. That you can use over and over. Oh, it loses coolant. Oh, no. My friend had that situation recently. And her husband went and replaced the coolant. And they thought that... Um, They thought that it would, um, she just thought like she, cause it overheated again after he replaced it. And she thought that like her husband just didn't, she came over, she was over on her way to my house and she thought that her husband just didn't put the cat back on. And, um, and she was like, Oh my gosh, I can't believe him. Like I barely made it here. I had to pull over. I had to get cool. It. And I called him and told him, blah, you know, did it, um, the whole thing. Well, come to find out she had a cracked engine block. And that's why the coolant was not staying in her car. And like, I mean, so, and it's just, she just ended up getting a new car because like to repair the engine was worth more than the car. So, um, Kim, the vase. No, I haven't set up the vase yet. So, um, I am going to, I think I'm going to put like, boxwood in it and put it next to the tray of, for the month when we get it done. So Juanita, um, you have a crack in the heater core return line. Oh, so the other thing that I would say is look on, um, Facebook marketplace. And what I learned about Facebook marketplace is because a lot of people will get them and sell them, like resell them there, or they'll decide they're tired of them. And what I learned about Facebook Marketplace is if you go into Facebook Marketplace and click on things you like, the next time you go into Marketplace, you're going to see more things you like because they kind of track, if you will, what you look at and they show more and more of it, which is really good in the sense, I mean, maybe not in the sense that you're being tracked, but in the sense that, um, like, we're looking to like get some like really neat furniture for outside and, and redo it. And so the more that I look at outside furniture that we could refinish for the pool, um, the more they show it to me. So I find stuff that I wouldn't have found before. Yes, Sheila bite. I know. Oh, I know it's two hours away from you. Same with Donna F. Her, hers is so far away. I mean, it is seriously, it's like two, it's two hours too. Actually, Donna F is why I started doing the, um, so I've just got the decor wax is what I, you know, the aging stuff. And I just, instead of putting it on full strength, I'm using a baby wipe. Um, but she's the reason why I started giving the Joyful Crafting Club um, list on the first, because I was putting it up when I shipped it. And she was like, no, she was like, I really need it ahead of time because it takes me like, I have to consolidate all of my trips because I'm so far from everything. And I didn't really think about that. So I always appreciate that point of view because it, um, you know, I could, I could ride my bike to Target. Target's less than a mile from my house, you know, and Hobby Lobby, it's, it's 10 minutes. Like everything is so close to where we live. And um, I just didn't, didn't ever think about that until someone tells you, hey, it's really hard for me to like, you know, do this quickly. I need to plan way ahead. And I'm like, oh, yeah, let me help you out with that. 
Like Donna's even messaged me ahead of time. I shouldn't even tell this, but she'll message me and say, Hey, I'm going a week early. Like, can you tell me what colors to get? So yeah. It's um we had really no idea how close anything was when we bought this house because we were on I mean, I guess we could look on Google Maps, but we bought it on FaceTime. And so my my mom went through the house with a realtor and um, and then we put in a bid because we were still in Texas. And so while we could look on the map and see, OK, it, it it looks close, you know, we just didn't know how close. Yeah, so this month, Deanna, okay, you, okay, this month too, though, I put the colors in there. You could also, and if you haven't gotten your box yet, I don't want to give anything away, but you could also add, like, a do, like, a neutral, like, add in, like, if you wanted a navy, if you have navy in your house, or, like, replace the, that brown with, like, a black or a navy, or you could you could do both. You could add that in. Like um, you're gonna need some shade of green, but some people have like a color theme in their house, or even like a gray. You know, a really nice neutral color. You could do that. The brown is just a really nice, easy one that it would go in anyone's house. But it's up to um, totally up to you. Um, okay. So everything's painted, believe it or not. That was quick. Um, that's about dry. I'm looking for, help me. I'm looking for sandpaper. I have to go right over here. Oh, here we go. Okay. Let's see. I love the house or greens from, I don't know what colors those are. What do those look like? I like the, um, this is what I was, this This mossy meadow, this really nice, like light green. But it's really similar to the aloe from Deco Art, right? But you could also go with a darker green. But I really like this kind of springy. This also was super popular at Christmas last year. Um, so I'm just going to sand this, right? I'm going to go with the grain of the wood. I'm not going to worry too much about the edges because this part's going to be covered, right? But the inside, and actually this is going to be covered too. So I'm just really kind of, right? Because this is going to have your little, when we get the interchangeable sign, that'll be there. Hey, Tammy W. How's everything going in your corner of the world, friend? Um, Everything is, we bought um, some more, like I, those vertical, what are those called? Pan, bun pan racks that you, you use for like restaurants. That's what I use when I do my wood cutouts. I put them on those racks. And so I bought a couple more of those because we just are running out of space. And this will let me... Um, like what we we're kind of with the flow. So we've got those. Everything is a mess right now. Everything is a mess in my workshop. But so I think like this white. Um, I guess what I want you to think about with the white, like this just depends on your taste. Some people want a really nice, clean, fresh, even coat of white. 
that is not what I want for this at all. Um, because I want it to look a little farmhouse, okay? So that's why I'm going back and sanding it and giving it some variation. Thank you, Tammy W., for the sprinkles. Thank you, thank you. Oh, where are y'all going, Dana? Oh, Juanita says she's been busy doing... I saw that pop up. You're doing Christmas in July. So y'all know we have our... Um, Juanita's doing Christmas in July. So um, if you haven't signed up for the Jingle and Mingle, which I think most of you guys have, it's going to be a lot of fun. That's next Friday and Saturday. Um, Tracy Pounds kicks it off Friday morning with... Um, I don't know what Tracy Pounds is doing. I feel like Tracy Gibson from Print Cut, Print Cut Crafts is going to be live that day too, Friday. I don't know if she's Friday or Saturday. But Tracy does the Cricut. So if you want to learn more about using the Cricut, that's a great place to be. Um, Pam is... Oh... You had your grandson's fifth birthday party. How fun. And I'm you're still waiting for it to schedule the radiation. Okay. Oh, the waiting girl. The waiting. Um, It's a lot. It's just a whole lot. I hate the waiting. I do. I just dislike it greatly. Let's say that. Um, You learn, though, over time. Like, you learn to get really good at it. I mean, I shouldn't. No one should have to be good at it. But... I have been learned to be really good at waiting for test results and all the things. I'm grateful that Nate hasn't had anything recently. I'm looking for scissors, but you do, you learn to be good at it. You learn to like, you know, let life go. Um, I know I was supposed to be live last night. Um, so, and then Pam, from Pam Coxwell from the Heart Art. She's doing these um, really pretty hand lettered Christmas ornaments. Jessica from Act Live Life. She's going to be doing some body weight exercises. Amy, my friend Amy from Wix Wax Candles, going to talk about her candles and how to use those at the holidays. Lo will be live talking about holiday self care. Um, I'm doing snowman shelf sitters, super cute set of three. Um, oh, there's Amy. Yeah, we were just talking about Amy. What are you doing for, um, I know you're doing some kind of candles, but what are you going to do for a jingle and mingle? Do you know what specifically you're doing? Um, Natalie from the ginger quilter. I think she's doing a holiday pot holder. So if you sew or want to learn to sew, Amy Bowman is doing a really cute, Christmas mug applique. She does um, Amy Sews. <sighs> Who else is jingling and mingling? Who am I leaving out? Denise. Crafty DIYer. Right? She's going to be there doing some cool Christmas decoupaging. Um, it's a big group. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So make sure. So how you join it is yes okay so in our mastermind sonia there are like four amy's amy amy p amy h amy amy and then amy b she's bringing out a brand new christmas set of candles and handmade vessels okay oh she does handmade um vessels um let me see if I can find, I've got the, I've got the link. Print cut craft.com slash jingle and mingle. Is this it? No. It's a print dot net. Crap. I should have it saved somewhere. Well, Yeah, you can go to Jingle and Mingle on Facebook and click the join button. It's a group. But we have a page set up that explains it, which kind of helps. 
but make sure you go to the guides when you go in the group, go to the guides and it's just a free like Christmas and July event. And you can go, you can order the kits if you want to do the kits with people or, or if you want to do it after you can just go and watch totally free. We just want to show up and hang out with you guys and have fun. So, um, Linda says she knows what I mean about waiting. You've, you've had a tumor in your saliva gland that's non-cancerous, but you have to go back and have an MRI done as the doctor's worried about the location and the possibility of damp. Okay. Well, girl, we're going to keep you in our prayers because we want you to have like super successful, the best doctors. Yeah. And that you want them to know like that they're going and taking care of it. Right. I know. It's just hard. Like, like life happens and like for whatever reason, you know, it's just not always as simple as we want it to be. But I think that what makes it worth it is no matter how hard it gets, you go and you hang out with the people and you have good people around you and, and you're able to like enjoy, enjoy your life anyway, is what I want to say. Like, because I know the scissors, I'm my children, my small children. Okay. Let's just go on with all the scissors. Um, you, because you just have to learn how to enjoy it anyway. Right. And you learn to like make peace with the fact that you don't have a resolution and you go and you find joy anyway. Okay. This is decor wax. I'm just going to age this. Belinda, we're definitely praying for you, girl. We want the very best outcome, right? This is a lot of decor wax, but that's all right. Um, so they, they, there will be like, we're going to, we're going to tone this down here in a minute. Yeah. You know, you learn to laugh and have fun and just enjoy it anyway. And this can just be super imperfect y'all. Mm. Don't worry about that. It's not going to look like this when I'm done. Right now it looks like somebody touched it with chocolate pudding on their hands. Okay. So now let me do the bottom too. And then we'll sand it again. Oh girl, you've had it twice. Oh. Well, yeah, I mean, that's, and you know, that's where you, I think you too, you like get strength from going through the hard things, right? And you appreciate things in life. Oh, so let me show you how to fix this because that was not intentional. See, there you go. It's fixed. Um, but, you know, you really do learn how to, like, have have joy in any way, right? And I think that's, like, while we never want to have to have that experience, I think that that's, like, part of the beauty of it is that you just go through it and you go, guess what? I am going to enjoy my life as imperfect as it is. I'm going to have fun. I'm going to laugh. I'm going to enjoy my friends. I'm going to enjoy my kids. And you know what? The rest of it, the chips are going to fall where they may. So I don't know if you guys ever listened to Denise Austin or her stuff. But when I was um, in Florida, I don't know, earlier in the spring, I read one of her books. And um, I really love Denise just because she's so inspirational. But she like had this one book that was like test your body type or something, whatever. It was part of one of her books. And so I was reading my body type and it says that I'm the stressed. I have a stressed body type. <laughs> and so it said part of what you need. She said, honestly, she said part of your remedy for that is one, you need to take a time out every day and like do some deep breathing relaxing stuff she like talked about certain postures to do like yoga postures to help relax but then she said you need to watch more funny movies and so ah thank you janet for dropping the link oh you're the best yay thank you thank you janet dropped the link woohoo janet 
Perfect. Um, yeah, go there because you'll get all the details. I should have the link at the ready, just not that good. Um, but she said, you know, every day you need to, and she had watch more funny movies. She was like, you need to laugh. Laughter is the best medicine. And like, that's why I'm like, you know what? That's why I put those silly, funny memes up every day. So I put something silly, like about the kale is so versatile that it fits in every trash can. So she said, you need to laugh. Like you need to find funny things. You need to be silly. You need to just have fun because it is the best medicine. It really is. You can laugh and enjoy things anyway. Oh, I'm loving how this looks. Okay. So we, um, you know, and you just get up and you find your people and you do life. And you find, just go for it. And you go for it anyway, right? Because I think that's where, like in the middle of the hard, when you go for it anyway, right? And that's where your life changes. That's where you change. And that's where you like inspire other people to be their best, you know? When everything is hard and you just get up and go anyway. I think that's why I love Denise Austin. She's just so positive and happy. Okay, so all I really did with this decor wax is like to stress it down a little bit. And let me hold this up so you can see it a little better. You see how it just looks a little more worn and weathered? Oh, look, Kim. Okay. Kim painted softballs for her um, great niece's teammates. She told us about this last week. Well, they went to Alabama this week to play, and they had a parade for all the little ball players. She's nine. Oh, my gosh. And they got the second place national champs in their division. Oh, my gosh, Kim. Congratulations. How exciting is that? Yay. I love it. I just dropped my wax or my um, – that's awesome. I don't need this anymore. That is so awesome. You, I'm going to make the, so Gabe is on, um, sorry, my arm, I need my water. Gabe is on the DSX club soccer team. My nine-year-old. Um, I put my name up here. Well, why does not my name? Never mind. Okay. So anyway, um, he is on the DSX team. So it's like a little club soccer team around here. They don't travel though. They have, well, they have two local, like local ish tournaments. I think one's in Dayton and one somewhere else, but the rest of them are, are here. Like all the games are in Columbus. And so, or the Columbus area, the Dublin area. Um, and so I am going to make the Christmas ornaments for everybody this year and put their names on them. Kim, if I don't, remind me that I said I was going to. I, I say I'm going to do it every time they play sports. And then we get so busy with three kids in sports and I never stop to make the ornaments. But I'm going to do it. This doesn't really need a lot of work. I'm just taking off any rough edges. Yeah, my name's on the small picture. Yeah, I figured that out, Juanita. <laughs> oh, I know. That's right. You know what? You guys inspire me. I know all of you guys have been through hard stuff. Have you guys watched that movie, This Is Where I Leave You? Um, it's with Jane Fonda, Justin. Is it Justin Bateman? Who's Justine Bateman's little brother? Um, let's see who else is in there. The guy from, um, oh my God, that really tall guy from an American marriage or something. What is his name? He's super popular now. He was, um, he was in one of the star Wars movies. He's in it. Oh my gosh. It is so good. 
It is so good. I mean, Jane, Jane Fonda, she's, gosh, she's amazing. Like, I love, I love Jane Fonda. Like, she's just one of those women who you're like, guess what? Life is not over at 50, right? Like, look at her. You know, she's still going, you know, and that's, that's how I want to be. Like, you know, not that I'm going to be like world famous, like Jane Fonda, but I mean, I want to be like her and you know, life's not over at 50. I am still going to do life. I'm still going to contribute. You guys have got to watch that movie. If it's on Netflix, this is where I leave you. It's so good. So good. It's about, um, she's grown up and she has four grown children and her husband passes away. And it's kind of about like one of the kids has stayed, the other ones have moved away and they come back for the funeral. And it's about that, like, it's a transition in life when you go from having kids at home to they're empty, you know, you're, you don't have them at home anymore. And then as the mom, like your life has to go on in a different way without your kids. And I mean, it's just so good. This is where I leave you. It is so good. Oh my gosh. You're going to laugh. You're going to cry. You're going to feel normal. Okay. That's that. Okay. So I'm not going to seal it because we're going to go ahead and put it together. So let's start back here. Lisa Ann, she says, you're on dialysis as you speak. It was stage five. Oh, girl. I'm sorry about that. You know, Nate, my, um, my, he's my tenure, my kiddo with special needs. He has, he's high blood pressure and they say it's his kidneys. His kidneys are healthy, but we, he has a nephrologist that we see and get his kidneys checked and we have to do an ultrasound every so often. And I mean, I'm so glad you show up and you're always so happy, Lisa Ann. We love having you here, girl. You help us. Like, look at you just still going for it. And, um, Hopefully they'll find, a, can you get a donor? Is, are you on a donor list? Like, I mean, I know like the dialysis can go for, you know, can really do wonders. Okay. Okay. So this is the front. But yeah, I was going to go live last night and then um, the kids, um, you know what, Nate had another rough day yesterday. And so they really wanted to go. Yeah, well, you know what? Sometimes and often God moves mountains, right? And sometimes it's his time, not ours. I don't know if, if you have a faith, a strong faith, but I do. And you know what? It's sometimes it's his time, not ours. And, and he is good and it will happen. So sometimes it just happens on his time, which is relatively irritating. If you want to know how I feel about it, I'm like, good. Come on, come on. You know, I need it. I need it. I don't want it on your time. I want it right now. But it doesn't always happen that way, you know. And that's why we find our people. We find our people. We find community. And we um, hold on for dear life. Right? And sometimes, like, it's not, we're not even dealing with the health crisis. Sometimes we're just lonely. Sometimes we're just, we don't, aren't in a community where we see friends enough. Um Okay, I'm thinking through this. So I have my Loctite, which I'm not. Here's the problem with a Loctite in this project is this has got to get lined up just right. And, you know, once that gets on there, like, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my box and I'm going to do E600 in that. I'm going to clamp it because I, because this is um kind of structural. Like, this is great, but I want to use something a little stronger than just this. So I'm going to do both. Oh, 
my gosh, you guys, look at the support and love in this. I love this. Look, look, Linda, see, look, Linda, Lisa, Ann, look at all these people you have. And look what Kim says. Her mom was 40 days from passing with pulmonary hypertension and needed a double lung transplant. And she got it just in time. See, you have a great community here. You guys are awesome. This is why I show up here. Like even when, like, you know what? Like last night, the kids, I had to take them. They just, what actually happened was, um, so Nate, my, my kiddo with special needs, if you've got a kid with special needs, you know, it's very hard for them to make friends and they don't get invited a lot of places. And so the other kids had had play dates or, you know, hung out with their friends. They don't want play dates anymore. They hang out. But Nate hadn't been invited yet. He did get invited to go to the zoo like the last day of school, but Nate hadn't been invited. And so when, since school was out, and so when Luke got an invite, Nate like had a total meltdown and was so upset that no one had invited him for a play date. And so I said, hey, why don't we find out if Rylan, his little buddy, can, um, can come and hang out and we, I'll take you guys, you know, to the pool. And so it, it ended up that we could do it on Friday, Friday. And so I was going to leave early from the pool yesterday, like, and get them home. So I'd have time to craft, but they were having so much fun. I'm putting the E600 on this. Um, they were having so much fun that I just couldn't do it to them. So we stayed and closed down the pool. I had pizza delivered. We ate dinner at the pool and came home and I had a happy kid. And so that's why I didn't craft live last night. My kid needed to be with a friend and he was happy today until he wasn't. <laughs> but sometimes as a mom, you just have to say, guess what? I got to do this for him. So, and it was the perfect day to be at the pool. I'm just going to flip this because I want to make sure that we're happy on the front too. Okay, so I want to hold this down and I want it to cure and I want to clamp it. It's really hard. So like Lucas, my 10 year old, um, or my, he's nine, he'll be 10 in August. Um, like that kid makes friends everywhere he goes. He is like such a great friend, you know, and Gabe, I mean, Gabe too. He just hangs out. But you know, when you have a speech disorder and you have autism and you have general anxiety disorder, like making friends is hard. It's hard. And so, and it's exhausting, you know? And just like, but he has this one little friend, Rylan, he gets along with really well. Oh, look at Lydia. Or definitely, you guys are, so sometimes you just take care of business, and so that's why I'm live tonight instead. So this is going to go together. I can set this to the side now that I've got everything lined up, but this is going to be super important to get it lined up, and we can put this together. This is going to go here. So if you wanted to do this, like if you've got a lot of grays in your house, you go with gray and black. You go, um, you make this back part black and make this white. You do it anything. We have a lot of browns in this house. Um, we bought the house and um, there's a lot of brown. I have to spray this. I know my trash can has just moved it. Hold on. Let me just get my trash can. And so, um, which, you know what, my last house was all gray, black, and white, and so I don't mind. I actually like the warmth of this house a lot. I left my glue there. Well, that's no good. I'm a hot mess tonight, which is like every other night. Not like this is any different. Okay, this is going to go here. Yeah. I knew you guys would understand. 
but I didn't want to go into all of that detail on my Facebook post last night. <laughs> oh, but my kid needed to go, go hang out with a friend. Yeah, look at this. Yes, they are so supportive of everybody. Yeah, this group, you guys are awesome. Our community here, you just really seriously are blow me away. So Dana says her son was in speech when he was in younger too. It's hard for him to make friends. And it wasn't until high school that he got more um, comfortable with people. Yeah. You know, even like tonight when we were, we were playing um, Rummy Cube, we ate dinner and we were playing Rummy Cube. And then I ha we had to take Speedy to the potty, the little Yorkie. And a bunch of kids had just come out front to play in the cul-de-sac. And my younger two were like, hey, mom, we want to like, um, we want to play. And I said, well, okay, right? Like, and Nate was like, no, I just, I just want to be with you guys. And I said, well, let's just go out front for a minute and let me cut these I had to cut these flowers that were too big. And I said, help me cut the flowers and we'll see what happens. And he said, well, okay. So I don't think I like this piece. So let me explain what's going to go in here. I guess the only reason you would need it is that this makes it triple width. Yeah, I don't think I like that. I don't think I want it to stick up that much. See, it makes it stick up a whole lot more than the other piece. The stuff will still fit. It just is going to go. So anyway, he was watching the other kids play. And I was like, don't you want to go play? He was like, no. And he watched him for about 10 minutes. And then he started like talking to them from the front porch. I was like, buddy, you know, you can't really holler over and think that they're going to really be able to hear you or understand. He was like, okay, mom. And then like another five minutes, he's like, mom, I think I can go play with them. I said, okay. Um, and I said, um, and then he went and played. And their kids said he sees every day. So I think, guys, this is what I'm going to do. I am. I do not like this extra piece here that sticks up. If I was going to have this somewhere where I felt like it was going to get jostled around, I, I would put that in there, but it's not going to get jostled. And I don't like how it sticks up so far. Maybe. It just, what it does is it adds a little extra there for the inserts, the top inserts. So they could kind of go in. I don't really think. I don't know. I just don't like how it sticks up. What do you guys think? So it can either go like this. It still has a ledge either way, right? For the pieces to sit in there. And they're not heavy. Um... Hopefully I can come and paint some pieces tonight. Let's just see here. Do I have anything that's single thickness? So yeah, the kiddos. So this goes here like this. And then this can go here. And I really do like that better. So, and it kind of just gives it, so this is not what's going to go in there. I'm just saying it'll still hold with that. Yeah, that's fine. I like that. We're going to go that route. I don't like that popping up there. All right. It just takes me a minute. So let me get this glued in. So you want to be real careful and make sure that you get this this um straight and i'll probably what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna 
spray it with my Gorilla Glue. And then I am going to use just a little Loctite only because I want to make sure it doesn't come off. Make sure I got it down far enough. So yeah, the plan was not to, yeah, there we go. Not, but I wasn't yammering. Maybe done. Okay. So you guys, like legitimately, I figure it out as I go. I mean, I had a color plan in my head. I kind of knew, but like a lot of times I just figure out the details as I go. I don't always, my head's probably going to go. My big hat is going to go in. I need to make sure that this gets on here. This is going to be super important when you put this together to make sure that this is nice and straight. Yeah, that looks really nice. I didn't even lock tight it. That's okay. I'm not going to. Okay. I forgot to do it after I told you I was going to. Now you guys are not surprised. Um, okay. Yeah. And then this is going to go here. I like that. I like it. I like it a lot. So I don't forget. I'm going to. I'm going to Loctite this because I don't want to forget to do it. And plus it's a thin area so I can kind of spread it around. But this stuff sticks. Like, I mean, it locks. You just want to get it on there nice and tight. Nice and flat. And then hold it in place. Yeah, it'll be indoors. Yeah, but you're just going to have a piece here. That's when they're outdoors, like on a front door or something. And you get, especially if you have a lot of, because it's wood, like heat and contract. You know, hot, cold, hot, cold. The wood, it's a natural product. It's going to expand and contract. And so, or especially if you've got a front door that gets like sun. And then, yeah, beautiful. So you get sun and then you know, on that direct afternoon sun. And it can over time. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Pop off. Right? Let me throw all this. Let me get my junk out of the way. And then we'll... I, I don't think I'm going to do the bow tonight because I think I'm going to... I'll show you what... I think I'm going to make the bow match whatever I paint to go with it. I haven't decided which one I want to do yet, but I was, but like, if you wanted to leave a bow on it all the time, right, you could just do like a farmhouse one, but I was thinking that, oh, well, for the love, what did I do? Did I get that in my hands? I did. <sighs> Let me get that cleaned up. Like, I'm a mess. All right. You just can't take yourself too seriously. Because I got some, so that's just the decor wax again. Okay. Okay, and then the thing about the E600 is it's going to take a little while to cure. So, like the E600 on this back is not going to be cured until overnight. So, I'm going to let it cure overnight. But let me show you. And then we'll find a bow. We'll figure out the bow tomorrow. So here, let me pull this up into full screen. So let me take the second camera off. Okay. All right. This crafting space is too small. And so we're working on, I actually have a bigger table sitting right here. And we just haven't got it all worked out yet. Things happen at turtle speed around here. Okay, this I'm going to toss because I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, here's the sun stand. 
cardboard out of the way. Look how cute that is. So I'm going to leave my clamps on there, but we're going to hang it. And then I think we can figure the bow out. So you can do one of two things. You can put it through the front like this. Or if you like to see the knot coming through the front, if you like that look, you can put the knot through the front, right? It just depends what look you like. How much rope we need. Let's figure that out next. So when I figure out how much string I need, I'll show you how I do this. I just kind of put this here and I put it where I want it to hang. And then I just, it's very complicated. It's very scientific. <laughs> I just take my rope right here. Because I don't have any scissors. I'm going to whack at it with my box knife. And then you take it. very cute. I can always change the rope. I'm thinking about the rope. I'm not sure I love the rope coming out the front, but once we get the bow on there, we can always change it. It's not a big deal. It's just jute, just a fat jute. Let's see. Yeah. This is how I figure everything out. Like when I'm making, like when I when I was making door hangers, I'd make the door hanger and then be like, okay. And after a while, I would get it down to a science. But the first time, I'm always just kind of thinking my way through it because you just never really know until you give it a try. Okay, so I'm gonna trim. How many scissors to trim this with? So they, the kids today, they were making. Um, when I was working, I was this this morning. I worked for a while. I worked about. Well, I worked about until four, and they were down here making um, pokeballs, and then um, like they draw the pokeballs on cardboard, and then um, they'd be like, "Okay, mom, can we cut it in the laser?" And I've taught them how to like set it up, how to focus it and like how to add shapes so that they can trace around their pokeballs and cut them out. So they were making pokeballs and then they were playing this game called Pokemon trainer, I guess. And <laughs> so between wood runs, they would be cutting pokeballs. So ignore the pink clamps. I don't want to take them off yet because it's Yeah, and this just kind of goes right here over the top. Oh my gosh, I kind of just am in love with this. I could use a skinnier rope, but I like the fat rope. Do you see how cute this is? Look at this. Ah! So let me take this off. So what will go in here then, this will say something. And then this will be like little like wood figurines. And then the bow. I'm thinking... I don't know. I kind of think I want the, the strings to poke the other way because I I kind of want the bow to um, hook through these holes. I'm not loving that poking out. In fact, I don't like it at all. <laughs> I'm going to change it. So, all right, ladies. I will um, chat with you tomorrow. Oh, let me grab some names real quick. Let me grab a few more names. And then we're going to all go to bed. What time is it? 1030. Very, very cute. Are you thinking it will be holiday type themes? So I have um, everyday, everyday farmhouse, Juanita. Um, I have like foot. I think I don't know. Do I have football? I don't know if I have the football. I know I've got like everyday farmhouse. I've got Christmas. I've got, I think, a birthday one. I've got one that's more like farm animals and there's a bunch of different ones. And so, um, I put Cindy's name in the jar. Okay. Cindy Barkley. Yeah. So I've got a bunch of different ones. So a lot of things to pick from. So you could do, um, 
there's fourth of july halloween thanksgiving so you could put something different in there every month if you wanted to or you could just do like you know a general farmhouse and then just maybe birthdays for special birthdays or whatever so super cute it's super cute um patty c tell my husband we were packing boxes you live right close to where we lived no they're not on my site yet patty they will be i'll get them up um it's super cute uh and lisa lisa and dana all right ladies I will chat with you soon. I'm going to fix my knots because I don't like them sticking out the front. And I will see y'all later. I'll um, send out a text when I'm going to do the first attachment. And I hope you all have great. Um, I hope you all have sweet dreams is what I was trying to say. I hope you all have sweet dreams. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the positivity and the encouragement prayers for all the ladies who are in need of it right now and all the ladies who did not ask and who have something on their heart that's just bothering them just know that we're covering you too love y'all get some good sleep and um we'll chat with you soon wow